in Holy Week. It is a uh, quiet day and we thought we'd sing a quiet song to start us out. Let me shift this around. We should have done this earlier. I didn't occur to me that we could get this music a little more in the middle. <clears throat> there, that'll help. We're going to sing Give Thanks with a Grateful Heart. It's number 806. It's a very simple song, but it's just appreciating God. sometimes when uh, and you're singing along and, and you had a harmony and that's you make me sound good <laughs> it's it's really um, it's a it's a neat thing it's a great blessing give thanks give thanks we we don't stop and think about things enough right Wednesday in Holy Week, the scriptures don't record anything of Jesus' life or sayings or doing that day. On Palm Sunday, you know, he enters the city and it's the procession and the, and the people and Jesus' mixed feelings. Remember that. On Monday, uh, it's the, the cleansing of the temple. Uh, the the cursing of the fig tree, the driving out of the money changers, uh, and then and then teaching and healing people in the temple. Tuesday, it's the verbal sparring, the confrontation, and and one by one the the scribes and the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the Herodians they all get, um, uh, they get their comeuppance. You know, they Jesus responds to them in such a way that they're all. They're all shut up. And they have nothing more to say. And so now they can only do. They have to do something about this guy. They're all in agreement. And Wednesday they're plotting. But Wednesday now Jesus, he's, he's set the stage. He's announced himself in a sense to his enemies. And he goes back and he spends the day with his friends in Bethany. Um, I don't suppose they played board games. Um, what would you do if this was 
the last week of your life? Well, that question is asked sometimes. Um, what would you do if you had only, you know, a, just one certain amount of time left to live? And people have their bucket list. You know, I'd go here, I'd go there, I want to see this, I want to skydive, I want to whatever. All pretty pointless stuff. What conversations would you have? Uh, I think back. Um, we got to have good conversations with my mom before she passed away. Your dad took us by surprise. And, and my dad took me by surprise. With, you got some... Karen had some wonderful conversations with my dad. She spent um, time with mom and dad when he was in the hospital and took notes on things he said. And I still have those handwritten notes, and I read them every now and then. Uh, but I was busy working and and didn't go when I should have. When you have a chance, what conversations would you have? Jesus had time with his disciples, maybe, I wonder, with each disciple. With Mary and Martha and Lazarus and others. His mother, probably. People were following Jesus. They were probably gathered in the, in the town. And time to express love. Time to put them at ease and to say, God knows what he's doing. And it's going to be okay. Of course, they, they knew something was up, but didn't quite understand so Wednesday and then Thursday as they prepare for the Passover, um, the time is drawing near. Jesus desired to use the time for the most important things. Having been done with the business, Jesus now wants time with people. Because people are more important than anything else. What's, what is there that you need to get done? Not even as, as important as that is, settling your financial affairs, making a will, whatever else. I don't know. People. Have a conversation with somebody today. Have a conversation with the Lord today. If, you, if possible, have a quiet day today. Or a quiet hour to be with the Lord and talk to Him. Dear Lord Jesus, we like to think or to say that we wish that we could have been there and, and spent those quiet hours with you. But Lord, you have offered to us. We may have quiet hours with you at any time. And here we are, always too busy. Lord, in this very special day of the year, help us to remember your presence with us and to spend that time with you preparing for the day when we will finally go home with you. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>